Wisdom is the application of knowledge. Are you hearing me today? Wisdom is the application of knowledge. In other words, when you've been taught something, you have, when you've already learned something, wisdom teaches you how to apply it. And if you are to a place in your life or you are in a season of your life where you have to be continually taught the same lesson, then it means that something is, praise God, not just mentally wrong, it means that something is more spiritually wrong with you than anything else. Is anybody understanding me tonight? So people don't like you to use the words such as retarded. They don't like you to use the words such as uh, arrested development. They don't like you to use the words such as dumb growth. They don't like you to use the word, uh, you know, such as stagnant. But these are spirits, praise God, that is tormenting and that is hindering you from growing and going forward. Amen. I, I want to talk about this tonight because even as we started something and on last week I began to talk about how God used Elijah to call fire down from heaven. And even as we came into the prayer sessions and I began to teach, praise God, on how, amen, that Elijah began to move because he understood that God needed to raise somebody up with power that was going to shake the kingdom of darkness. And he, he recognized that if he was going to amen, shake the kingdom of darkness and if he was going to bring Jezebel down, to bring her down, he had to raise somebody up with power. Can I get a witness tonight? To bring her down, to bring down this, the kingdom of darkness, he had to raise her up, somebody up with power. Amen. To counter move, amen, that of the enemy. Is anybody here tonight? And so what is he saying, praise God? He says, I I've got to now, because what, the, what Jezebel was doing, and I want to give you a little history tonight, praise God, and then you're going to see where I'm going, praise God, amen, is that, amen, that this, this man became the king, amen, in Israel. He, he, his name was Ahab. He became this king, praise God, over the people of God, amen. And in becoming the king, praise God, amen, he decided, amen, that he was going to marry somebody that was not a part of their culture. He decided that he was going to marry somebody that was not a part of the kingdom that he, amen, belonged to. Praise God, amen. I'm going somewhere tonight. If you could just bear with me, somebody just say, let's go prophetess, amen. And, and this man, as he married this woman, the Bible said that the name of the woman he married was Jezebel, amen. And Jezebel was the, the daughter, praise God, of Ethabel, praise God, amen. And Ethabel or Ethabel, however you pronounce it, was known as the king of Zidon, amen. Praise God, the king of Zidon, the king of Tyre, amen, which belonged to the coast of Tyre, the coast of Zidon, or who we would call the Zidonians. And so that's the place where Elijah stops on his way to Mount Carmel. Praise God. Remember, I started to read that earlier. I'm, amen. I'm dealing with spiritual warfare because, praise God, before we can fully get to the place of deliverance, amen, you got to understand what you are fighting. Is anybody here tonight? Praise God. Before you could even get to the place, some time of, of being set free or even setting somebody else free you got to understand really where your warfare originated from praise God and so a lot of times people just want you to talk about let's go straight and talk about demons let's go straight and amen cast the demon out but sometimes praise God amen you got to understand what you dealing with praise God before you can even decide which if that you're going to deal with it getting it out am I right about it tonight praise and God. so God said I want to teach you this because I want there to be understanding in the kingdom i want the people to get the revelation that praise god that this is not a joke and this is not a game. it's not a joke and it's not a game and so praise god amen Eli ahab is now king but he marries a woman a man that was contrary to the will of god he marries a woman that was contrary to the plan of god amen this woman was so wicked in the place that she, amen in fact she was called jezebel amen and and her name praise god is as 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 she would have it because her husband was the king of tyra praise god amen she was known as the priestess of baal praise god because entire of sidon amen they worship baal praise 
praise God, amen, they worship the Canaanite God that was called Baal. Is everybody here tonight? Praise God, amen, and as they worship this God, praise God, they would make people, amen, amen, to do lewd stuff. They will make people, praise God, amen, to worship this God and to turn, praise God, from worshiping the one and only true God, which was Jehovah. Hallelujah, praise God. And so, praise God, you can imagine that Ahab that came up under the, amen, the Judah, the tribe, this tribe that only knew Je Jehovah all of his life, praise God. Now he marries somebody that don't want to have nothing to do with his God, that don't want to have nothing to do with his people, that don't want to worship. Is anybody hearing him tonight? So he marries somebody that did not even have a passion for God. Praise God. Amen. She pretended as if she loved his God and loved his people until they became one. Praise God. And so praise God. Amen. So what Jezebel began to do. The Bible said more than all the kings in Israel that Ahab, amen, caused the children of Israel to sin more than any other king in Israel. In other words, he did more wicked than all the kings. Praise God. I know we got Jeroboam and the rest of them coming down them little rascals but this king for some reason amen he tossed the hearts and the minds of the people to go contrary to the word of God and so amen the judgment of God began to move against Ahab and so praise God amen he caused the people to worship Baal what was Baal amen Baal was known as the God of rain and the God of storms praise God in other words praise God amen the Baal God amen was erected and it cost the people to worship it so that it can bring the harvest and it can bring the famine praise God so that the crops could grow every year is anybody here praise God amen and the Bible says amen that when the people would worship Baal they believed in their mind that Baal praise God will cause their corn to be bumper they believed that their fruits will be bigger they believed that because now praise God amen they believed in this God that brought rain and if you mess with it it will bring a storm to your life praise God and so the Bible says Amen. That as the children of Israel begin to worship this God, they begin to become more and more engrossed in idolatry. Praise God. Because if you read your Bible in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 3, the Lord God gave the children of Israel some laws. And he said, Thou shalt worship no other gods before me. And neither shall thou bow thyself down to any other golden image or idols. Praise God. Am I right about it tonight? Does anybody know their Bibles in the house? But the Bible said that the children of Israel erred and they went a whoring after other gods. Praise God. Amen. And then Jezebel did not just stop there, but even as I read in chapter 18, that she made, amen, herself some groves. Amen. And the groves, amen, she appointed, amen, false prophets that will manage the groves. In other words, it's like when you go to the disco, praise God. She got some managers and, amen, security officers and people, amen, that was in the groves. Amen. Uh, to help you, praise God, along with your worship. Uh, praise God. And so in the groves, amen. The world, the grove, the Hebrew word for grove was asteroid. Amen. Uh, and this asteroid, amen, what they would do is they would carve out the wood uh, and they will make, praise God, idols uh, with, 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 with protruded, amen, sexual organs. Uh, she will make, they would make idols, praise God, that looked, amen, excuse my term, uh, but that looked juicy and delicious. Amen. Uh, and the people will begin to dance and they will begin to have orgies and they will begin to praise God when the spirits or the gods came upon them they will become so possessed that they will begin to cut themselves and they will begin to have sex man with man and woman with woman praise God and they will take children praise God and they will sacrifice the children on the altar I, I, I know it sounds a little gruesome tonight but I'm going somewhere praise God and so God began to speak to me about the spirit he said Maddie you got to continually put it in the minds of the people People. Praise God that Jezebel was not just a wicked wife. She was not just a wicked woman, but the name Jezebel really means unhusband, unprincipled, and unmarried. Praise God. Because if the truth be told, Jezebel is not loyal, was not even loyal to Ahab. Is anybody here any needed? Was she ever loyal to God? And you got to understand that the spirit of Jezebel is not just a woman with big earrings, as I told you, but amen, it's a spirit. And praise God. 
are the modus operandi of the spirit is to cause the church the kingdom of the most high God to blood wash believers it causes them to make amen to make other images praise God it causes them to move in idolatry because why Jezebel already knows that if I can get you to the point where you are so uncommitted to God and so uncommitted to his kingdom and so uncommitted to his work praise God come on somebody then she can manifest and so praise God she made the groves I told you praise God last week that what Jezebel did praise God was she made made up in her mind praise God that she wanted to have a place and so the enemy when he wants to destroy your life he always establishes a place he will connect you to the wrong people come on somebody because he wants you to have a place a familiar zone that he can bring you to every now and then so praise God with the people the children of Israel begin to do because now there's a famine in the land oh my god and so what it made them to do is become desperate so what they decided to do was leave Christianity and they began to run to Jezebel because why at least they have another God that we could see but we cannot see the God amen of Abraham Jacob and Isaac so they run to this God amen because they didn't recognize and could not discern the time that it was the prophet Elijah that amen called for this famine it was in Baal that send the famine it was the prophet Elijah whenever Christians are disconnected from the spirit of God their discernment is off they don't know when something is God and they don't know when it's the devil oh God 